Well, it turns out a lot of parents across the country are fed up with the public education system, which we should call the government school system. So much so that they're pulling their kids out of public schools by the truckloads and instead turning to private schools, Christian schools, charter schools, and homeschooling. According to an analysis from the National Alliance for Public Charter Schools, during the 2020-2021 school year, charter school enrollment grew 7% the largest increase in half a decade, same for private schools. By comparison, district school enrollment dropped precipitously in every state. To be exact, 1.4 million students left their government-run school district, 1.4 million American kids with a new lease on learning. Now, you can try to blame this on COVID-19 and shutdowns and jamming masks on five-year-olds all you want. But the truth is, Parents are also fed up with the Marxist curriculum being taught in government schools. We're done. We don't want our kids to be indoctrinated with gender neutrality nonsense, the religion of climate change, and racist critical race theory. The left has completely captured our public schools. I can't say that more emphatically. I was a public school kid. I'm sure many of you were too. But the schools of yesteryear are long gone. Kids learning from home during COVID-19 exposed their parents to poisonous curriculum like, say, the 1619 Project. I call what happened the COVID-1619 effect. Parents have found the real virus, and it's in the textbooks. It's the woke versus the newly awake. And the only hope for our country is for this trend to continue. Joining me now, former university professor and author of Black Eye for America, How Critical Race Theory is Burning Down the House, Carol Swain, and North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Thank you both for being here. Carol, let me, let me start with you. Is it a good thing that um, um, you know, a million and a half American kids are saying, I'm out of public school? It's a wonderful thing. It's something that a lot of us have called for for a long time, Pete. And so I'm proud of American parents who are pulling their children out of public schools. But the rest of us, whether we have children or not in the public schools, we need to stand up and fight for the children who are trapped and left behind. They have rights to, and right now, they are being abused by the curriculum. Well said. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, you, you were part of a report in North Carolina called the Indoctrination in North Carolina Public Education Report. Is that what you believe at this day and age is happening in a lot of our public schools? Absolutely, I do. I saw it firsthand with my children when they were in high school. I saw it at the university level myself when I was a, a adult student in the university system. And the entire time that I have been, been involved in campaigning and now as lieutenant governor, folks have been reaching out to me all across the state uh, with these concerns. Uh, this is not, as some politicians have claimed, a conspiracy-driven issue. This is a serious issue that we really need to tackle, and our office is doing everything that we can to do just that. You know, what are, Carol, what are parents missing that say, well, you know, my public school's okay, maybe there's a little bit of that stuff. What, when, when, when you send your kids to a public school in that sense, what are they missing out of that they otherwise should be getting? Well, they're missing out of the fact that the teachers are educated in critical race theory, and so they come out of the departments of education at the universities steeped in it. It is in the classrooms, and parents are just now, <clears throat> excuse me, learning about something that has been going on for a long time. And it takes away from academic learning when advanced placement courses are removed from schools, when standards are lowered for minority students, when messages are sent uh, about white privilege and minorities being victims and racism being permanent, that's something that's very damaging. And it creates a hostile learning environment for our students, mm. hostile teaching environment for the teachers. It's not good for America. We need to keep pushing back. Lieutenant Governor, have, have you been called racist or on the wrong side of history for daring to dare that uh, you know, critical race theory or diversity, equity, inclusion maybe isn't a good thing in our public classrooms? Oh, absolutely. We had a major news outlet that featured a cartoon uh, picturing me and another member of the state school board, a, 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 a Native American woman, a, as Ku Klux Klansmen, because we simply wanted to teach uh, 
uh, what's right in history and what's right in the classroom. Uh, we have been uh, demonized by many of those on the left, but we choose not to listen to those voices. We listen to those parents and teachers and students who are reaching out to us every day and demanding that something be done about this, and that's exactly what we're going to continue to do. Man, I'm grateful for you both. Those teachers' unions have a stranglehold on so many of these places. States can fight back as best they can, but the best option is for parents to say, if you can, if you have the resources, the options, I'm out of here. I'm going to find, I'm not going to play by the government's rules uh, because my life, my kid's life is at stake. Thank you both. Carol. Thank you. Lieutenant Governor thank Mark you. Robinson. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.